Hello, board members. How are we doing this fine, fine Tuesday afternoon? Well, I hope. We gotta get some more underrail in. Where? Uh oh. Where? We might be approaching, starting, some of the end content. Potentially. I wanna get my hopes two up. There's a non zero chance we're gonna be, be getting adjacent to ending content for the original story. I don't know if it's an actual hard ending, since there is technically a DLC we still need to play through. So, <clears throat> I'm hoping that we can do like the main story, end it, go into sort of free play mode, and then, and then do the DLC, probably in a couple of months, I would think. Oh, that's right. The last thing, Sewer Mutant Boss, yes. This is the last thing we were messing around with after everything else, is I wanted to go down here and find out what was going on with the Sewer Mutant. And then the module crashed. I remember this now. Yes. This is a very odd situation that we were in. Because we were vaguely loading up on equipment to start this final run with uh, the Chortists, as it were. Let's head down here. Into the sewer pit. Go you know, like over here. Turn invisible. I don't know when the, the guy's gonna show up. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's coming for us here. Oh, he's very close to us now. We are very slightly faster than him. While stealthed. But not much faster. Oh, he found us. Oh, he found us. He found us. All right. Um, so we just want to step off. Give him a little shoot. shoot. Step over. And start the valve. I try to get away. Okay, it's fine. After this... Oh, that is a very low chance to hit, actually. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so those valves are both done, which is good. That's very good. Chance to hit is low. That is... Oh, because we're intimidated, I'm guessing? All offensive skills reduced by 44. Oh my god. Alright, yeah. Dang. Well, this... We're faster than him, so we'll just pepper him a bit. So in theory, what we want to do here... We want to create a little bit of space between us and him when he dies. Okay, intimidation is worn off. I don't understand why our chance to hit is so low. Is it because we're contaminated? All damage taken increased by 60%. So that's bad, but that's not like that bad. Maybe what I do is I just double move. Ow. Jerk face. Pandora. Ica, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. How are we doing today? I saw it looked like you were playing some Yug. Hopefully the Yug went well. Okay, we got him. Turn invisible. The next valve is over here. We come over here. Hit the valve. The welcome. How goes it? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good day. Overall, a pretty good day. How are you doing? Welcome and also thank you, uh, Mel Melissian? Melissian? Thank you for, uh, the follow. Thank you for coming over on that raid. We are actively attempting to take down one of the few bosses I'm aware of in this module. 
I'm assuming this is what I need to do to get this to work. Ow. Oh, come on, man. Okay, the base idea works. We just got to be a little trickier with it, I think. Start doing this. We head over here. But yeah, Ica, how did the how did the you go? I know you said you did unfortunately make your uh, king of modules thing the other night, but hopefully the rest of it went well. Uh, I don't see him. What well, that means he's very far away from us. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna do it now. I'm just gonna do it now. Okay, he's down. All the way over here. This, like this. Turn stealth. Go. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Okay. Okay. Okay, he definitely is just following us. So we go all the way up here. Let's see. My day has been interesting. I talked to my boss about a thing and he agreed about it, but he's not com communicating with the rest of the team about it. So I guess I'll have to call him about it tomorrow. Oh. Well, I mean, if he agreed with you and thought it was a good idea in the moment, hopefully he continues thinking that way about it. Okay, stop. Okay, where's the next valve? Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Okay. We're going to sprint. And start working on this. Okay, there's one over here. All the way over here. Communication seems like a big weak point amongst all the bosses we've had so far. Communication is hard. It's a difficult it's a difficult skill. There's a reason that you you know, they say you, you quit a job because of your managers or uh uh what is it, the managers or the hours or something like that? Okay, gotta go this way. Gotta go this way. This is going to be a close one. Okay. I need a second here. Okay, there is another room. And I don't know if this is technically the right thing to do, but they're giving me b valves, and I'm assuming I need to turn those off, and then he'll stop resurrecting himself, I hope. But yeah, I mean, communication is a skill, and not everyone has that skill. I get it. <clears throat> oh, there's an electronics lock. Okay. Shortest? Oh, there's another valve. Covered in blood. It's already closed. Oh. Chortus Missionary Corpse. Chortus bi Bio Scrubber? Okay. Okay, so I turned all this off. Now what do I need to do? Barrel, barrel. Oh, I missed a valve! There's one valve left. Oh. Oh, see, all the also the U went well, and the not king of modules was only the alt format, so I wasn't as upset about it. Well, that's good. That's good. Bio scrubber is a better gas mask. I will keep that in mind. Apparently, I missed one valve over here, so we gotta go get that. Um, snipe. Okay, he's down. Oh wait, what? Why am I taking? Oh, that's acid damage. That's acid damage. My bad. 
Run. Run. I can't sprint yet. Bro. Bro. Get over here. Come on. Faster. Go faster. Must go faster. Come on. Come on. Switch to the new mask. I will do that as soon as... Oh, it's... The... Oh, it's blocked by debris? Like that? It's obscured by floating junk. I... What does that mean? Uh, do I need to, like, shoot the barrel or something? Why is he sh shoot the barrel? Why won't he shoot the barrel? Ow. Why isn't this working? I don't understand. Uh. What am I missing here? Well, I think I've gotten all the other ones. It's obscured by floating junk. What does that mean? Uh, you're overthinking it? How am I overthinking it? Do... Do I just need to kill him someplace where there isn't... Gas? Is that it? Also, why is my chance to hit so low? Okay, that's better. Oh, did he die? Oh my god, he actually died. Okay, we got there? Wait, we got there? Yes. Oh wait, maybe the mask lowers the hit chance? I, I don't know, let's see. Oh, this is interesting. This experimental mask uses filters filled with micro microbial elect electrolysis cells that perform gas scrubbing, impurity removal, and break down certain harmful substances into inert and beneficial ones. The filters can last for years, but they do not. But they do need their battery recharge in order to apply an electric current to the cells, which keeps them keeps the process going. Perception decreased by 2, detection decreased by 50, energy 0, equipped, restore 10 to 30 health each turn while standing inside a toxic glass cloud, the cost of up to 6 energy, the healing amount depends on the thickness of the cloud, and energy cost depends on the healing amount, cannot heal above 75% of the maximum health, does not work while frozen or chilled, total health increased by 5%. Yeah, perception reduced by 2 is kind of bad. I mean, I guess the regular gas mask does that too, though. Hmm. Bio 40. I mean, yeah. Bio 35. 20. I mean, technically, yeah, it's just a better all-around gas mask. It even weighs the same amount. So I guess... I guess I can just keep it? long as no one at the Chort Institute gets mad at me or whatever. Long as them there darn, darn Chortists don't get upset with me, we should be okay. Actually, I'm gonna wait until I have the better, the better, uh, battery for this. Yeah, so it's the, it's just the perception going down is the problem, I guess. Ooh, what do we get? Abnormal deformed brain. Swollen green veins run all over its deformed frontal lobe. Its red-soaked color makes it seem alive. Picked up, study, gained 3 XP. That will give us a level! Let's go! Boss worth it! Boss fight worth it! Bam! Haven't had one of those in a hot second, eh? A eh? Level up. Dang. Darn! We got there, team. That boss fight was not for no reason. Good reason to do the boss fight. The XP we needed for a level. That's that's good stuff, team. That's good stuff. Okay, so... I guess I'm gonna skip that for now. We'll come back to that. So guns obviously gets better. Dodge. Evasion. Stealth gets better. 
think we're close to good on hacking. I think chemistry we're okay on right now. Kind of biology. I think mechanics we still wanted to go up more. Okay, let me grab the, let me, we gotta get the official, the, the official doctrine uh, from one grand ex inquisitor, uh, Ica, about the optimized strats of this module. Where is it? There we go. We'll just see what we've got. Yes, visit the page! Uh, what do we got? Okay. Mm. Oh, interesting. A little bit of a different breakdown on our base skills here. So let me see. Five, five, seven, six. Odd that that's only at ten. Three and four. Okay, so that's all the same. Skills. We wanted guns up to 160, so we're working on that. 160 throwing, we're leaving at 80 because that's more than high enough. 60 and 160 for both of these, we're working on that. Stealth 160, hacking 120, we're good there. Lock picking is, we've got it at 78, but 72 is apparently good enough, which is fantastic. Um, nothing on that. 144 on mechanical. Chemistry at 53. 10 points and tailoring. Wow. We're actually good. We have extra points suddenly. Uh huh. I don't. What do we what do we do? This is a situation. This is unheard of. This is an unheard of situation. This is an unheard of situation. We've never been in this situation before. Let's see, what do we got down here? So we also got to worry about this. New skills. You can finally start putting points into mercantile? I guess so, yeah. Finally be able to get in all the good uh, shops now that we have some mercantile points. Or intimidation if you want. I mean, intimidation would probably make more sense given that we are the, the grand... Uh, what is it? We are the Invictus... So it makes sense that we have intimidation. Conditioning. All mechanical heat and cold damage taken by 10% for plus 1% for every point in con above five. Doesn't do us a lot of good. Uh, I mean, paranoia is not terrible. Is everyone have to get you to know it? Detection increased by 20%, initiative by five, a chance to get critically hit by weapon and unarmed attacks reduced by 3%. Also your weapon and unarmed da damage is increased by 30% against stealth targets, which would would help us some against um, the, what is it? The stealth horrors, the monster, the monster people, uh, uh, the, the death stalkers, death stalkers. It would help us with the death stalkers some. What feats do you have? Well, I have both my left and my right feats. <laughs> Um, let me see. We've got, uh, Hunter Fine-Tuned. Blind Sighting for when we're going in and out of stealth. Critical Power, so our aim shot and general criticals are better. Sharpshooter, uh, which is if we're standing still, we get that extra chance to do, uh, extra critical damage bonus. Shooting Spree for more shots. Rapid Fire for our pistol backup. We got Ambush for increasing our chance to crit. Snipe for when we're sniping in stealth. Strafe for uh, move and shoot penalty. Sprint to just be able to cover more ground quickly. Quick pockets for being able to... What is it? An extra utility slot and reduces the cost of using stuff, I think. Oh, equipping stuff in combat. Bonk! <laughs> what choices do you have? Um, let's see. Conditioning, expertise, fast metabolism, ninja looter, opportunist... Pack Rat Hound, Paranoia, Recklessness, Chance to critically hit with weapons and unarmed attacks by 7%. Also increase your chance to get critically hit by weapons and unarmed attacks. Psy abilities by 3%. I mean, that one isn't terrible for us, per se. Because, I mean, that's just a 7% upgrade in chance to critically hit. Like, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, snooping, suppressive fire, which isn't going to do us any good. 
Recklessness is nice, but you do also have ambush. Yeah, but ambush is situational. We have to be able in the right situation to do that, right? We, they have to be in in light, and I have to be outside of light. So it's sort of situational. Uh, so it might just be overkill. That's true. I mean, we're we're probably maxing out on our, on our uh, ambush when we're using it because our stealth is so high. Let's see, we got sure step isn't a bad one. That will negate caltrips and puddles. So now we can start using caltrips, and I, I can stop worrying about taking all the stupid acid damage. And if the deep caverns are going to be as messed up as I assume they're going to be, I have to worry about... I have to imagine acid is going to be an issue. Interloper is kind of interesting. Lowers the stealth mo movement penalty to 30% and allows you to retain up to 15 movement points in combat while stealth. So we would be able to... Interloper is still a favorite of mine. I mean, that... Wait, sort of. You can also just Molotov to boost the occurrences of those situations. That's fair, too. Yeah, Interloper seems interesting. I just don't know how much it's actually going to help. It sounds cool, but I don't know. I don't know. Six Shell isn't going to help us. Knee, knee Camp Shot. Does have a pistol crossbow SMG or shotgun? Probably not going to help us. Cook Shot is... Nope. Leading Shot. Shotguns. 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 Invasive maneuvers, grants an ability when activated, convert all remaining movement points into thrice the evasion for two turns. That actually isn't a terrible one. Because then we get our evasion really, really high. And we can not move, which keeps our like focus fire thing up. Concentrate focus fire thing up. The base movement spread reduction of stealth is 45%. So so is being 35% reduction makes a pretty big difference. Fair. It's a third less speed reduction, right? I guess it would be easier to outrun stuff in stealth. Or catch up with stuff in stealth, right? Concentrated fire is not for us. That's not for us. Fragmented chaos is also shotguns. Lots of shotgun traits or feats they added in here. And then commando is only for assault rifles and SMGs. So we're out of... We're out of, um, what do you call it? One specifically for us, right? Um, burglar reduces the time it takes to pick attack locks by 75%. Also grants you plus 10 bonus with stealth skill when in controlled areas. Interesting. Clother, corporal projection, doctor. Anyone with bandages, and you also gain 25% more health from restoring medications. That's... That's not necessarily the best thing, but that's actually not terrible. We could take the 15 biology right now and take that as our next one. Oh, I only have 10 points, though. Budge. Budge. Uh, gun nut. Uh, I don't think we can get gun nut because our intelligence... Yeah, our intelligence is too low. We're not getting gun nut. Gunslinger, I think, is only pistols, right? Yeah, only pistols... Juggernaut, so increase total health increased by 25% while wearing any armor with unfundified armor penalty at 50% or higher. Marksman, power management, craft have 35% greater capacity. Psycho, shield arb, skinner, stoicism. You receive 1% less damage from all sources for each 4% 4, 4 health missing. Eh. Increases the chance to critically hit with weapons, unarmed attacks, and psi abilities by 30% while under 30% health. That's a terrible. That's a terrible idea. Quick moving, okay. Thick skull. Whenever you should restun your dazed instead, which reduces your action points by 15 and movement points by 30, but still allows you to act. No way we're getting up to 10 con, because I think we're currently at 6. Yeah, we're only at 6, so that's not going to help. Tranquility. Trigger happy. Increase initiative by 7. We could actually get that one if we just wanted more just a higher initiative. You just take the fast metabolism. Survival instincts is fun on stealth builds. I mean, technically that's what we're doing, but it's a symbol, pummel, sort of hammer, spear throw, yell, and attempt to reduce combat readiness of surrounding enemies and remove them from stealth. When enemies will have their offensive skills reduced by a okay, cooldown. Intimidation 20. We have... We could actually get yell. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. 
Yell is the is the benefit of intimidation. Oh, okay. In issuing an intimidating shout in an attempt to reduce combat readiness of surrounding enemies and remove them from stealth. All affected enemies will have their offensive skills reduced by an amount equal to 35% of their intimidation skill. Of your intimidation skill for three turns. Offensive skills reduced by an amount equal to a 35. So that would be something like... If we're at 20, that would be what? Like, 8? It costs no AP. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, if it can pull stuff out of stealth, that would be really good for the Deathstalkers. I mean, it's only once every 10 turns, but... It also lowers their dodge, if I remember correctly. Oh, really? Huh. I mean, I don't know if I would call that an offensive skill, but I could see that. Neural Overload, Dirty Kick probably isn't going to be for us. Force User, High Technologies, Lightning Punches, Point Shoot. We're going to perform a quick pistol, SMG, or assault rifle attack that costs interaction point cost, but has reduced precision. Cooldown one turn. Perception 6 and dis Dex 6. You can do that. I mean, I guess it'd be okay for our pistols. It's not great, but increase the ability of that one to activate it will allow you to arm your next trap instantly, in, even in combat, in which case it will cost 25 action points. Aim, curl hit chance for the pistol, while weaponry. We don't really do bleeding. Cast of shots, crossbow bolts. Crippling Strike, Melee stuff, Escape Artist. Grants the ability to remove all immobilizing effects. Eh, can't get to that one. Finn Flurry Grenadier. Reduces the cooldown of Fragmentation, High Explosive, and Incendiary Grades by two turns, and Special Grenades by three turns. I don't know, that sounds pretty good. We only have to get our decks up to six, and our throwing is already over 30. So, I mean, we're just throwing grenades more often. Well, Subversion. We don't have any Psy abilities, parry, trap expert. There's a time required to arm and disarm traps by 60% increases the detection difficulty. Okay. We're not super into traps, so... Carrier vests give additional three mechanical damage threshold when used in crafting. Huh. Carrier vests. That's not going to be good for this character, but some of them, one of my, uh, my, my Batgirl character, my all punches character... That actually would probably work pretty well for them. Reflection, hypertexas, increases damage done by poison. You apply by 100%. Improved last stand. Granted the ability that when activated will temporarily reset your health to your maximum for two turns. Uh, we can't get to con nine. Uh, critical bonus of energy weapons. Pyromaniac, maniac. Reveal damage to their fire. Okay, that's not gonna happen. Salesman, increase the amount of goods merchants will buy from you by 1% per mercantile skill. The amount of goods? I don't know what that means. Scramble damage bonus on melee attacks. Okay, not that one. Capitate swords. Exposed weakness. Melee attack. Fancy footworks melee. Full auto's not going to work for us. Nope. Impale. Nope. On hits and mechanical pistol. Twice as strong. On hit effects of chemical pistols. Interesting. Pinning. Nope. Dodge. Bone Breaker. Fatal Throw. Guard. Nah, that's not really going to be useful for us. Mania. Ripper. Knife, Swords, and Throwing Knives. Nope. Sap. Unless when attacking with a crowbar and allows you to perform a special crowbar attack from behind the target that bypasses all resistance and shields and incapacitates the target for up to five turns. You must either be hidden from your target through stealth, or the target needs to be incapacitated. Only works on humanoids. That is bonkers. What? Grenadier is nice, although not sure if it's worth going into decks for stuff. Stuff like I'm, I'm looking for three, three at the top of the scrap screen. Oh, so it might have a light boost to that. Okay, gotcha. Taste for blood, as I think is knives. Yeah, melee damage. Three-pointer. Gives you a Freeman, you fool! 
What? Who's Raymond? There's no Raymonds. Raymonds here. Oh, Freeman. Freeman, you fool. Gives your damage dealing grenades 10% chance of critically hit. This chance increases by 1.5 for each 10 points. Throwing skills above 50. Ours is only 80, so that would be like an 11.5% chance to crit. Cutthroat, Super Guardian, Sweet Blitz, Browning Up. Not gonna be us. Future Orientation, Remote Surgeon, Combo, Bullet Diamond. Activated reduces action point cost of firing firearm pistols. Nope. Execute grants you a special close range attack with pistols. Nope. Brutality. Nope. No snares. Weapons control onslaught. Sword attacks. Nope. Super slam. Eviscerate. Special knife attack. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's just not a lot of anything going on here, for, really, for us. I think if we were going to go into decks for Grenadier, I mean, we only have to go up one dex point to get Grenadier, right? Yeah, we can go up one dex to dex 36 to get Grenadier if we wanted. Otherwise... The next feat level will unlock new feats, by the way. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, otherwise, Doctor wouldn't be bad. But I'd have to take five points out of something else to get our biology up to 15. And of the ones we already have the ability to get, we can probably Interloper or Recklessness or Paranoia. Would probably be our best bets. I mean, Paranoia for de increased detection, Recklessness for increased chance to crit. Oh, or Sure Step. You know, it's Sure Step or Interloper. Sure Step so we don't have to worry about Caltrips and Puddles of Acid. And Interloper so we have we move faster in stealth. I don't know. I think right now, if it was up to me, which isn't solely my choice, I would say probably Sure Step so we don't have to deal with Acid Puddles or Caltrips. I can start using Caltrips with Abandon. Interloper, uh, just we have, we're better in stealth. Or we throw a point into dex and we go with uh, Grenadier. I still think Interloper is very nice. Including a two stat boost one you can only use once. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, we're pretty, like, our build's basically done. Anything we're throwing on top of this now is just icing on the cake. So, if we think Interloper is pretty good, we can go with Interloper. Lowers the stealth movement speed penalty to 35% from 45%. And allows you to retain up to 15 movement points in combat while stealth. Not sure what that last one means exactly, but that's probably fine. We can give that a shot, though. We can give that a shot. And then here, we were just going to be doing more, um, where is it? What's the interloper give us? Each was suspended rooster that reduces the movement speed penalty by stealth, in stealth by 1.5%, and allows you to retain up to two more movement points in combat while stealth. Wow, you get down to 20% then. Or no, it would even be better than that. It would be, wow, you can get it down to 15%. Huh. Sure Step is also very nice. Yeah, I mean, that, I think that would be good because now I could start using Caltrips without issue, right? Or the reduced movement and shoot penalty by one per Yeah, this is the one we wanted, Strafe. Yeah, I think it's either Interloper, Sure Step, or we put a point into Dex and go with Grenadier. Because obviously grenades are pretty strong. Even if it's not regular grenades, Molotovs and stun grenades are very strong. I think Doctor's nice, but not necessarily, not necessary, really. And maybe if we were doing something really crazy, we could use Survival Instincts, but not really on this build. Or the other one is we go Intimidation up to 20, and we take Yell to try to pull stuff out of Stealth. I think with Interloper, you'll just barely be able to outwalk most NPCs in stealth thanks to tabbies? Oh, okay. Well, that wouldn't be too bad then. Um. I. Hmm, I am torn. 
Because if I take sure step, I can just start throwing caltrips, which is something I've been kind of avoiding because I've used them on some of my other characters, my non-stream characters, and they're interesting, but they are a pain in the butt to deal with after the fact. Since they are permanent, once they go down, if you come back to that area, you just have to eat damage as you walk through them. It's a little odd. If you want to do sure step, go for it. Okay. I think we'll do sure step because acid sucks and I can start using caltrips, which could be really useful for us. Um, and then I have to imagine at some point in this cave crawl thing we're going to have to do for this finale, we're going to have to deal with acid pools, right? Basically guaranteed. So it is very nice to caltrip spam. All right. I think we'll take sure step for now. And maybe after this, we can take Interloper if we end up getting another point where we have some extra floating stuff. So for this, we'll just take, I guess, another point into Perception. Just increase damage with our gun. And then what are we doing with these last 10 points? We just put them in the Mercantile so that we can get access to some of the secret stashes. Do we think we're doing that or do we go with Intimidation? So I feel like with 20 Intimidation, we're probably not going to get anywhere, where at least with the Mercantile, it might give us some better prices if it doesn't let us actively access the secret secret stores. Because, yeah, otherwise, the only thing I could think of is... I guess we could take, like, Electronics up to 30 if we wanted. Probably just barely hit the soft cap of Mercantile. Let me check what it is. Okay. Because, I mean, the only reason to take Mercantile really for us at this point is just access to the secret stashes. We're not hurting for money, so that's not an issue. Hacking link picking's all maxed out. Pickpocketing. Traps. I mean, I guess we could put some point into traps so that we can finally start disarming other people's traps. We get it up to 30, but that doesn't seem like it's high enough. Mm. We just start putting points in the Psy, even though we have no Psy powers. That would be actually very funny to me. Let's see. So we get this up to 35. Right now, thanks to everything else, our intelligence and persuasion, I guess, we could get this up to a 35. Oh, we're getting it from our belt. We're getting that 15 from our belt. That's what it is. Under five is a soft cap, and you have 15 bonus to it from the bag. Okay. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever get to 105. So I think you could. Oh, okay. If you think we can get to 105 on it. On Mercantile, right? Okay. I mean, we can just start putting points in the mercantile and just making more money. It's fine by me. It might take a while? Well, yeah. It's going to be a bit if we're going to get that high. Because, I mean, we really don't need anything else unless I'm suddenly going to, like, take a left in the melee. And start very lightly punching things. Yeah, I think we just take mercantile and that's going to be our dump stat going forward. We just keep taking stealth, dodge, and evasion and stuff until we get to the 160, and then everything else other than that, we're just dumping into Mercantile. I think that's fine by me. I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think that's gonna be it. All right, now we can just loot the place. Although I'm, I'll just spoil the 105 is the effort Hannah, and for the I shop it's 95. Oh, okay. Let me turn my volume down. But yeah, sweet. We just get to go around and like collect everything. Since we, you know, we won. We did the thing. We have to be careful not to get, you know, gassed, but I do like that he picked up the barrels and threw them at us. I did not expect that to happen. It was a nifty touch. Also, I might have just picked up some magnesium, which is good. Okay. Oh, uh, napalm barrel. 
It's already shut. Covered in blood stains. Okay. I feel like this almost slightly implies that this is the route that the, the Chortis took after they escaped with the... Um, the D20 of Fate or whatever. So realistically, you could probably hit 95 and be good because she's probably going to be unavailable. Yeah, that makes sense. Also, muscly mutants can do that, I think. Yeah, probably. We've probably seen that at least once before, but it's been a while since I've really fought mutants. Um, go to the sewers, please. Awesome. Well, there's another thing off the bucket list. One more thing, one more boss put down. Get my perception goggles back on, though. Perception. All right, cool. Yeah, so we just have a new headpiece to wear. All right. Let's go head up to our stuff. Drop all this stuff we don't need off. And then... We're still actively working on... Kind of getting ready for this final chort mission. I'm very curious to see what it's actually going to be. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. You got... We were we were wanting to take, I think, 10 salads with us. I think was the goal. I'm going to sell hard to the food vendors. It's always hard to tell when they're going to reset the inventories. Can you not? Thank you. Zilla, how goes it? Nothing. Oh, actually, while we're here, though. Oh, this is empty. We actually got everything out of here already. Sweet. Root soda would also be good. Well, all right. Buy some from her? Okay, we'll buy the root soda. I think we have quite a bit of this, but that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll buy the, the root soda. Root soda, please. Thank you. Just three for emergencies? Well, we have five for double emergencies. The next time we run into a double emergency, we've got to have plenty. Maybe we can share one with Gorski or something. So we're done with Dors Gorski's, Gorski's stuff, right? There's basically nothing else we can do with him. MP, pink grenade. Plasmas of mine sounds cool, but we're never going to be able to build that. Yeah? Okay. It's interesting how many of these quests I feel like we're kind of finishing in the middle of them, not at the actual end. It's, a, it's just a kind of a weird sensation is all I'm saying. It's a starter mixture. Volatile mixture using gas grenades to evaporate the filler mixture. Interesting. Relevant? Probably not, but interesting. This. That, that. Uh, casings can go in there. So. Uh, need that. This, this, this. This, this. Food we can keep. That, that. That, that. Probably better off breaking that down for repair parts. And we keep the soda. Um, so, I mean, I have caltrips on me. Now that we have sure step, I can actually, like, bring them properly. I don't remember how heavy they are. They're pretty heavy. Okay, we won't go too crazy with them then. Yeah, it definitely feels like it for a lot. Definitely feels like it for a lot. For a lot? Let's see. Oh, a lot of quests. Yeah, it just, it just kind of feels like we're in the weirdly in the middle. Okay, so we'll bring two of these. Bring, bring one more of these. In the wrong direction. Split one of these. 
need this. Dexterity by one. Okay, we'll probably bring a couple of these. Three of those. We got lots of grenades on us. A couple of the basic tester grenades. Uh, bring a couple of these with us. We go through a lot of Molotovs. Let's see, where's my other food? I'm gonna need repair kits. Take all of those with us. I actually want to buy a couple of extras. Oh, we got some basic ones. We'll take these basic ones right now and repair this. What's this uh that one's that one looks okay. We don't use it as much. Boots are good. Armor's pretty good. Not a thing, not a thing. Okay, great. Where's my I think I have a couple of fabric repair kits in here, right? No, I don't. Wow. Yeah, I don't have any fabric repair kits. Should I bring this um, JKK tactical jacket? Are we going to need it while we're down in the caves? Ugh. Yes? Okay. Because we're going to eventually need that bonus to lock picking, right? So we'll put that down like, under here. Along with the jackknife. Let's see. Um, probably at least 10. We'll take, we'll bring 15. Oh, we did that the other direction. We'll bring 15 bear traps with us. Let's grab a couple extra mines. Not that they do much damage, unfortunately, but it's still damage, right? Grab some mines and bring those with us. Hopefully 10 AMPs is gonna be enough. Let's see, where's my batteries at? Batteries. 200, 500. I need to take one of these. Apply that to this. Get that topped up. That back. I guess technically we still need to go buy some juice. You said you want me to bring a bunch of the juice with me, right? Because you keep, what, 10 of them on you at all times? Getting five extra grenades. other stuff I'll bring like an extra like 60 rounds with us just because I don't have any idea how much more stuff we're gonna actually get into goggles and blueprints okay utility belts tortoise robes fortunately we never came across better armor I think it's a one time and I didn't have the money for it Usually five, I think? Okay. Um, mark threes. Get some more Mark threes with us. Where are those other Molotovs? Like that. Help on the top. Bring maybe another, like, ten of these. I don't have any extra bandages, but hopefully 26 is enough. Mixed with, mixed with all these these ones, I'm gonna split this. I need some of the basic ones here and bring more of the advanced ones. Um, it's an electronic repair kit. We don't need that really. We got that higher armor defense grenades. Do I need any extra blocks of TNT? We've got, what, one left? Bring... That's not what I meant to do. There we go. We'll bring three of those with us. Okay. Alright, 
think we're pretty kitted out then. Honestly, looking at it. I think the only thing that we never figured out how to do... I was thinking about this today at work. We never made... Yeah, the high level incendiary. We never made a... Any incendiary bullets. I was thinking about that. We never got a chance to make those. I thought that would have been really funny. Your inventory reset yet? Sure didn't. Mm. Starter mixture. Oh, you do have a rapid reloader, which is kind of interesting, but. Rapid rifle TNT charges. Right here, by the hook, no armor, bullets. Uh, clavas. Nothing there. Okay. I guess we can go. Now yeah, we can go pick up some juice, I guess. I'm trying to think. I think that'll be the last thing we really need. We're pretty well loaded up on everything else. Put our grenades and stuff on this row. Mines. We got the juice. Probably put the juice up here with our food. We have one nail bomb, which was very underwhelming. All of our tools, all our food, a couple of different kinds of nets, a bunch of caltrips, some mines, and a bunch of bear traps. We got two different radios and a camera jammer. Unfortunately, we'll never hear from Vivian again, but I'll keep checking just in case. Nail bomb is nice, but more so for knife, knife builds. Uh, oh yeah, because it does the bleeding effect, right? All right. All right. I guess we'll just um. What else there is to do? Our our inventory, our weight is basically maxed out. I guess we can go check the house, and then after that we can just head over to uh, what's his faces. I can do bleed, so it usually has a good feat that boost that or benefit from it. Yeah. Yeah, there's like, what, Taste for Blood or whatever that one's called? Does that make sense? It would trigger your... trigger that kind of thing? How much armor piercing rounds do I have? Eh, that's not bad. For as little as we end up using most of the time, that's actually not terrible. I don't know how many robots we're going to be fighting. With robots being the primary thing we can't, we kind of keep running into. Also, speaking of packing, I did manage to get to the second chapter of Darkwood on Nightmare difficulty. Nice! That is an accomplishment. That module is already pretty difficult. Let's see. I'm just checking to see if I have anything else in here. Okay, there's more armor-piercing rounds. Buying Endoscope, huh? Jumping Bean. Shiv. Advanced Health Hypos. Okay, nothing there. Blood. Inoculants. Extracting uh, large quantities of very toxic substance. It really annoys me that I have not seen any... Um... The stuff we need to make the fire bullets. I want to say thermite, but it's not thermite. Behavior poison. Or poisons. And just raw acid. I find funny, but... Definitely need that. Okay, here's some more salads. We grab three salads. Pie. Three of those. Let's grab 
drop one of these grenades. Oh, I didn't realize we had another one of these pouches. Repair this gun again. We just gotta get set up since we're not coming back here for a very, very long time. Good then? Oh, there's a fabric repair kit. Perfect. Alright. We'll do that on our armor. Yeah, we'll do that on our armor. Let's see, from what I've heard, uh, you can restart at the beginning of chapter two, so it's no longer really one life only. I might try and just speed run to the ending, or I might try to survive a night, then do that. Ah, okay. How does that work? You can restart at the beginning of chapter two? Interesting. Put in there. And this is all just my random gun stuff. Okay. All right. I think we're about as set as we're gonna get then. Oh, let me lock up the house. Uh, lock the keys. Or lock it with the keys. All right. All right. We just gotta go get the juice. We gotta get. We gotta go get four servings of the juice. We're good. And go talk to Chort, and then come Thursday. Well, what time is it? Yeah, we'll come Thursday. We'll actually be starting the the final adventures in Chort Town. We'll be chorting it up. Yeah. Well, that's interesting that they added that in. I mean, that makes sense, especially if you just, like, you're trying to do something specific. It's a nice feature, honestly. Alright, I think it's over here. We're gonna take a juice over there. I'm gonna go buy some juice. Let's see, I just wanna make sure I don't have anything too crazy extra in here right now. The only thing I think we're carrying that's extra is just this Psy Beetle brain in a jar. Put that on our, our belt. What do I got? This one is our perception goggles. Arms rapid fire. I don't think anything else in here weighs anything. I don't think. I think we're good. Really? They count these as tools. Okay. Hello, Rash. My name is Rash. I really have rashes. I don't know why you you named that. Just create a tear in the universe for me. Aw, Dad, you're the best. <laughs> Fair. Oh, I don't need these shell casings on me. Let's go put those down. We need them. We just don't need them right now. Okay. Yeah, we'll go talk to Dude. And uh, grab some more juice from them, and then we'll be good to go. Hopefully. Hopefully this is enough, team. Hopefully this is enough. Bam. Uh, rail crossing, Oculus. Oh, we could go to Oculus real quick and see if they have any ammo. Or anything else interesting, I guess. I? Yeah. Uh, what is it? Storage? Is that uh, mercantile? Nope. Right. Show me what you got. Um, what do you got? A couple of decent Reaper frames. Nothing crazy. Nice five. Shotgun, shot, pistol, mine, lock picks, HP bullets, hand grenades, explosive bullets, which we already know. Oh, no, these are explosives, not fire bullets. Never mind. Okay. I don't see any... Oh, you do have some higher level mines that I don't have the skill to use. That's fun. Oh, there's the Old World Firearms book. I forgot about that. Uh, that 
is not better than what we've got. I will take this from you, though. One of these. Uh, do I want to bring more? Yeah, we'll get one more set so we have a full ten. Call her even there. Floor. Take the rift out of here over to Dude's Cave Home. Hello, Dude. Uh, give me Juice Barter. Much of what we've been through. Okay. Oh, good. You've got four. That's exactly how many I need. Thanks, Dude. Out. Um, Jerry, Jerry. Junkyard, see if they've got any more armor-piercing bullets for me. Gonna keep an eye on our, how much time we've got left before the effect wears off. We do. Take those. Starter mixture. It's metal armor. Prime gear shotgun. Shotgun. Thing in case. Okay, nothing there then. This it's really all I need from you. Like that. Oh, wait, wait, less. Hold on. I'm gonna run over here real quick and see if I left anything else important in this dumpster. Uh, doesn't look like it. No, no, I think we're good. Else, else I really need to hit real quick. Your house, foundry, Oculus, rail crossing. Nah, we're probably good. Back to the merchant's district, I guess. Hi, Rash. Monsters come out of the wall. Dad, I'm scared. Well, yeah, because they they live underground, so the walls. Okay. Mission power grenades, more armor piercing bullets. We're loaded up. This is not a mercantile run. The next thing we do is going to be all combat, no mercantile. Got weapon repair kits, our armor's in good shape, plenty of ammo, lots of meds, varieties of foods and explosives. We should be good here. I will make one last save. Last chance for stuff. Let's go see what we can we can do here. Go talk to Edian. The grand the grand shortman himself, Edian. The divine one. Who's the only one allowed to talk to the chort. Hello, Natya. Alright, Edian. Let's see what you got to say, bud. I'm to become an official member of the Preservation Force. As you mentioned, that the figurine was part of some set that can tell me. Pardon me, can you tell me about the surface? Have you seen it? What's it like there? No, but it exists. Evidence from the old world provides more hints regarding its appearance. However, the only certainty is that. Okay, I think we did that one. Chort, how do you feel about the under rail chort guide? You. Okay. Um, so we can't join the physicists, right? But we can join the other two? Uh, assistant investigator or a member of the preservation forces. Probably investigation would be more interesting since that's like going to places and like looking for new interesting things. Take out his ex. Okay. I do. As well as you. 200 side points, 386 shield, and 940 hit points? Good God. That's insanity. 
I bet I could hit him for 2,000 damage and it wouldn't kill him. I'd hit him for 2,000 and he'd probably eat at least, at least 1,200 to that as, as armor, right? I, I all but guarantee it. All right, so I'm gonna join the assistant investigators. I'm gonna become an assistant investigator. Yes, talk about it. Make it for me in advance of your arrival, she told me the per principal investigators found you a very useful and dedicated assistant. She even mentioned Morningstar Lenora in a di direct comparison with you. If becoming an assistant investigator is your wish, you need not wait for long. Talk about it. Make it is a matter of several days before you will find yourself working on your first project, solving your first problems as an investigator. Incident Sugar always needs dedicated men like you, and I am satisfied to know that we have them. Each of the four choices? Oh. Am I supposed to have four choices? There was only two. Um, if that is what you seek, Dog Biter McGillity, are you sure this is the path you're willing to take, or perhaps your heart guide to elsewhere? Not too late to reconsider. There are more ways to reach one's destination. Okay, wait, let me think about it. Uh, yeah, all I've got right now is the investigators and the preservation forces. Oh, okay, so once we become an investigator, there's something else we can do? And one per preservation. Oh, okay. Okay. I gotcha. Alright, short, 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 short choices. That's, no, not like that. That looks mildly better. No, I can't spell. It's a known thing. Don't bring it up. I've decided I want to become an assistant investigator. Chort, <laughs> Chort Chicos? Yeah. <laughs> the Chort Chicos, man. Uh, I have no doubt that you will perform your duty with great zeal, for your actions already speak of your exceptional dedication. Before we even the conversation, tell me which department you are most interested in working for. Oh, okay, here we go. So physics, genetics, chemistry. I guess physics, because we use bullets? Genetics is kind of interesting. Or chemistry. To be honest, my wish is to work near Chort in Deep Caverns. Um, Department of Physics, Genetics, or Chemistry. I think the genetics stuff is probably going to be the most interesting to me. There's just so many weird creatures. I think chemistry will be most helpful. Alright, let's try chemistry then. I will remember what you said, Dog Butter McKinley. We'll be taken care of. I forgot they added this. Added. Okay, you are free to go, Dog Butter McKinley. I will discuss this matter with Epsilon and be notified when. Eating abruptly stops talking. You're unsure why at first, but then you start. You start getting this feeling that your guts are vibrating. It is so subtle that you are unsure whether you are imagining it or not. Eating's reaction suggests the latter to be true, though. He tilts his head. He tilts his head up, keeping perfectly still and calm otherwise while maintaining silence. Soon the vibrations go in intensity. Do you feel that? Once the tremor died down, Edian drops his gaze back to you. That was surprising. I received no warning from investigations regarding potential seismic activity. Back on the subject, you will be notified when the time comes and are there any further questions you had? of a set, short, uh, surface. How old are you exactly? Short, I never called you Elian. How do you feel about them? Okay, that short guide, you brother. Okay, so now we have ongoing whatever this is. So what's my next actual objective for the short? Trained tremors have begun shaking the Institute of Chort. Maybe you should investigate the cause. Okay. Who would I talk to about this? What do you need? To, uh, what can you tell me about the investigation? Would you like to hear? Can you tell me about investigation? Let me tort guide you. Okay. Did you get the item? Uh, no. I have a single. I <laughs> see. I have a single empty bottle on me. <laughs> no. What is the item I was supposed to get? I did not get an item. Was I supposed to? Here is part of a set. I mean, he doesn't have anything in here about like an item. Uh, 
Or is there like something I'm supposed to steal? Because I could probably steal from this. Get that stuff. I got whatever that was. Five shotgun shells. I don't know why that's in there, but we stole five shotgun shells. Wow, those are happening very frequently. That is concerning. Oh. Oh, this is What's-Her-Face's office, right? Yeah, I can't actually steal from here. Uh, can you tell me about the West Wing? Okay, Tort Guy Joe. Huh. Alright. I don't know who we talked to about this. What about you two? You two? Are you still being rude? Let's see. I thought I was clear enough when I leave my office. Arjun as if you were one of the monosaurs. Okay. Yeah, you guys are still jerk faces. Got it. Shortest. Oh yeah. While we're here, we can see if they got uh, the old ammo. One of these? No. Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. Ooh, you got 30 rounds of it. Yes, please. I will indeed take the en enhanced uh, armor piercing. Thank you. Yeah, anything else I care about? Uh, no. No, you do not. All right, that's fine. Oh, do you want this? Is that worth money? It is. Here, take it. I don't need shotgun shells or anything. Um, Trimmers are beginning to worry me, brother. Something is not right. What do you think of the trimmers? Some of won't won't see. It's puzzling, but I have I don't have an answer. Department of Physics possesses a seismograph, yet they haven't warned us. Any trimmers which make everything even more peculiar. Ah, okay. Well, I can go talk to him for you if you want. I'll go beat him up. He's my boss, but I'm also like way tougher than him. Let's go see. Let's go see if they got anything to say. Talk to Usha. Which one is Usha? Oh, right here, Usha. Bellwoman addresses you, this time no less shyly or less fragile voice. Tortoise is evolution, Invictus brother? Uh, hard, hardcore sister evolution is Chort. She smiles, her blushing only being noticeable due to her chalk white complexion. I was told to bring you this brother. From under her robe, she produces a light container made of hard plastic and adorned with the eye of Chort. Her eminence told me to give this to you and to tell you it's an early stimulus before your official acceptance to the department. She also requested of you to be discreet about it for the time being. You may... Okay, thank you. Just what I was looking for. Take it without saying a word. You're, you may con, convey my sincerest gratitude to her eminent sister. I will, she nods. Short guide your brother. And Okay, we got the thing. We got a belt. Grants two extra utility slots. Chemistry increased by 15. Increased critical chance of crafted chemical pistols by 2%. All heat damage taken reduced by 5. All acid damage taken reduced by 10%. Agility decreased by 1. Interesting. I mean, that'll get us up to 5 utility slots. But we will lose 50 carrying capacity, which is bad, because that's the only thing able to let us carry all of our stuff. It's not a terrible belt. The reduced in heat and acid damage is nice. Chemistry increased by 15 would also be good once we get done with whatever we're doing, because then we can just have that bonus. Huh. Alright. Doesn't make you curious what the other stuff is, though. Uh, yeah, don't we have an... Where, where are we? Not, no, not that. This. You. I'm not the tremors. Tell me about the T-Ray technology. You're gonna ask about the tremors because everyone swarmed here after the ground started shaking. It's like it was something we were causing. It reminds me of the particle accelerator black hole panic from a few years ago. Magnificent tort. The armor is unfortunately heavy to the... The armor is unfortunately heavy for the preservation choice. Ah. Yeah, that makes sense. They, they feel like a heavy armor group. What can you tell me about the tremors? We have a seismograph set up here in the lab, and we monitor it very carefully. First of all, these tremors came out of nowhere. There was no previous indication that the earthquake was about to happen. And second, we still do not know why it is happening. Do you know... Do you maybe know the direction they are coming from? 
Well, now, the reading, if they are correct, and they should be, imply that it's coming from the west. I previously can't, I obviously can't pinpoint it specifically, brother. Why do you ask? Interesting. I'll be right back. Chort guide you. Chort guide you. Where, where, where? Some dumbass over in the west wing causing problems, huh? Do you happen to have any spare steel sheets that aren't going to be used in a particle accelerator? I might need them for constructing certain things. So we're still from this particular accelerator. Costly and time to manufacture a standard. Since the production is limited and demand great, I cannot spare a single one of these, brother. However, sheets are sometimes replaced after a certain number of particle experiments. They grade in quality and are no longer suitable for testing. We either recycle them or repurpose them. Those I can spare. You can take a look at them if you wish. Oh. Oh. Okay, I guess I can buy Super Steel from you if I wanted. Huh, and it's actually pretty cheap, and that's a quality 109. That's actually really good. I'll take one of those just in case. Uh, nothing else. Oh, you want some of this stuff? Oh, you can have those. <laughs> if you want that, you can 100% have it. I don't care. 110%, it is all yours, lady. All right. All right. So yeah, we gotta go over to the West Wing. Stuff's gonna get all kinds of crazy on us. So. Um, I don't think I need to go to either of those. Lusa's gone. I don't remember how to get back to the rooms where I can drop that little bit of stuff I've got off. I think I have to go downstairs for this, right? It's weird seeing the people in robes and the people not in robes, and they're considered equal. It's real odd to me. Okay, in this stash. That's like all this stuff in here for now. Hopefully I'm not missing anything with this. Chemical ammo, MP, extracting or incendiary bullets, jumping beam, trance, right? Re re regenerative mixture. Interesting, morphine shot metal arm. We're not missing any bullets. None of these happen to be weirdly better than what I'm wearing, I don't think. All right, I think we're good then. All right. The bioengineered super cat? Well, yeah, I mean, what else would be hanging out in the chort place? All right, let's head over to the West Wing. It's time to get this kicked off, I guess. I think we can go this way. This is the most direct route. Right. Oh, Floppy Penguin with the raid. Welcome, raiders. Welcome, Floppy Penguin. How are we doing? You kind of had a sus uh, incons uh, what is the term? A uh, conspicuous time. We're about to begin what is potentially part of the end of this module. Zanebad, welcome, Zanebad, of course. Advanced Lamp, welcome. How's it going? What was it? I was going to ask something about life in the UK, but I can't remember what it is now. Going good, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, not a not a terrible day. Maybe not the best day ever, but not a terrible day either. Life in the UK, yeah, I was talking to a friend of mine last night, and we were, she brought up something about the UK, and I don't remember what it was now exactly that we were talking about. We talked about a lot of stuff, but I can't remember exactly what the UK it was. It's very, something very, very specific. She was talk, talking about, oh, this stuff respawned? Seriously? She was talking about um, moving to the UK. Why are you, don't become aware of me. Uh, but moving to the UK via, wait, what was that? Uh, oh, there's a coil spider here, what? But yeah, moving to the UK via um, Canada. And she was saying something about that, and I can't remember for the life of me what exactly it was now. And she just said something I'm like, oh, I know two people from the UK. I could probably ask them. Okay, I'm gonna have to probably put you two down, aren't I? Ah, 
Wow, we got there. <laughs> was it to do with visas? No, it wasn't visas. Did my character walk into... Wait, why are there this... Did these all respawn? There's no way. They all respawn, right? That's incredibly frustrating. First of all, the fact that our character was stupid enough to walk into... Wait, why are they injured? Of course. Why are the burrowers over here? Why? Why are you over here? There's no reason for you to be over here. Yeah, I, I can't remember exactly what we were talking about, though. Yeah, it was something about, like, how... Yeah, like, Canada has a much more open border with the UK than the US does or something like that. I don't remember now. There's a lot of stuff. I was very tired at the, by the end of it. Uh, okay, can I just like... That is the wrong gun. Gosh darn it. Okay, well that works. Well, I can just let them fight each other here. Please hit. Hello. How are you? Uh, okay. That was kind of a wait. Seriously. You have got to be kidding with me. Well, that was silly. Not sure. I wouldn't have thought Canada and the U.S. would be any different to travel to the U.K. I wouldn't have either, but it, it was just something she had mentioned. I was like, huh, I should ask about that. It was that and there were maybe one other thing, but I don't, I don't remember now. But I am looking into that, uh, the, the chat interacts with, um, the screen thing that you talked about. So there's nothing going on over here, which is kind of what I was thinking. Maybe it's cheaper to buy the ticket, and that could be it. Oh yeah, what I was I showed you when we were expecting? Oh yeah. Um, I mean, kind of. I didn't get too much of the details. I remember seeing a video of the VTuber Fillion had something similar going on a couple of weeks ago. So I went and found their stuff. But they didn't, the little bit of it I found was an old throwback on their TikTok. And I didn't know, they didn't really have it labeled on what the program was. It was just the label for the clip. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it or not. Oh. Did I miss this somehow? What? Weird. Uh, I guess I'll take the caltrips. Huh, I must have forgot this in one of my, like, frustrated replays through this area. Feeling the one who does backflips? Yes, she flash, flash bangs, I believe is what she calls the, uh, the maneuver. She flash bangs her chat repeatedly? Yes. Yeah, her. Um, but yeah, if that's what it is, if that's what she uses is that heat thing you sent me, that would be probably perfect then. Because then you could all... I see. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's got to be from over here, right? This is more west. But uh, that would be perfect for the search rooms thing. Because then you could all be clicking on a spot. And then it would be like, okay, player one, player two, and player three. 
or however I can set up the, the restrictions or whatever, and then I can know where to go and click for it. Because it seems like it's an area of effect thing, which is perfect. Yeah, that would be cool, yeah. And it looks like it isn't just, just a pinprick. It looks like it gives you a little bubble of interaction. So that way it can also see that it's like, yeah, right in here is where I need to click. My vision is going to be similar to console. Okay, maybe it's not over here. I thought when it said west, that means I needed to go into the west wing and start looking around. There's another area over here that we can go check out. I don't know what to expect when we find it. Like, this area was big and ominous. It really makes me feel like maybe that's what's where we need to go now. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um. Huh. Yeah, yeah, that big ominous area was for something specific. Okay. So... Okay. Uh, I guess I just let everyone back at base know that the uh, Faceless are attacking. Okay. It's the Faceless, and they have come for their, their cube. Are you kidding me right now? Seriously? I don't, I don't, I don't need this. Let's see, can I pull this off? Get out, get out, okay, get out, just get out, okay. All right, so, that sucks. All right, so yeah, we'll just let them know that the, the Faceless are invading. They'll probably be kind of surprised by that. They just, they feel that they're above the faceless, so we can go we can go let them know that the faceless are invading. Oh, I'm in combat from around the corner, I guess. Good luck trying to get to me, idiots. You're all the way over here with no way to get to me. There we go. Man, these, these two. Join preservation if you have the guns. Do you know how much sick, messed up stuff I have to get up to because of the stupid physicists? Because of the chemists? Have you ever had to eat through everything with acid? It's not fun, idiot. You shoot stuff with a gun. I melt it while it's alive with acid. You tell me which is worse. Sir. Alright. Let me tell him that the faceless are here. And I have important news. I've been to the West Wing and found a faceless tunneler carrying full armored troops. His an he answers without delay. This is the cause of the tremors. Faceless. Speak quickly, Dr. Vitter Bingley. What other information do we have? What I c uh, I've spied on them before leaving. I don't think they saw me. If they did, you and I would not be leading this conversation. Faces have no mercy, no emotion, not unlike machines. Never forget that. However, we were able to see or hear anything regarding the monitors, the motives beyond their arrival. I need to return, return there and try learning their purpose there. If, if more will be coming. Also, be discreet. Panic is the last thing we need. I will not fail you. I will. Edian, so long. And tour guide you. I have no doubt you will accomplish your task. Do the short. Find out why the faces appeared in the West Wing. Okay. I mean, I know why, but I guess we don't. It's pretty straightforward. Like, the correct answer is you have their cube and they want it back. And they're willing to go to war with everyone for it. Which is sort of insane, but... If these weirdos want their cube back, they want their cube back. They have the mightiest hankering to play the D&D. 
And it will not be satiated without the D20 of, of Legend. I mean, there's a lot of evidence that it's actually some sort of bizarre particle accelerator bomb thing, but I don't know about that. I don't think we need a black hole bomb to be floating around with the Chortists either way. Alright, so are you just going to attack me on sight? Be cool. Alright. Since your presence... Presence become known to the two faceless guards. They raise their weapons in unison, ready to use them. But suddenly, they freeze. The hallway becomes no mo noiseless. Even the two guards lower their weapons. You hear no talking nor notice any visible signals between them. Several seconds pass before one of them turns around. Wait and see what happens. Okay. The nearing of yet another armed faceless invokes a strange feeling of familiarity, and only when he finally stops right in front of you do you really remember. He is the injured faceless you rescued back in Core City. Nice! What a great callback! I was wondering if that was going to come up. Indeed, you recognize his damaged mask. With each passing second, you seem to recall every little dent and scratch on it. As the puzzle solves itself in your head and completes their very image, you notice how every red wound has now been replaced with a pale scar. Now that bleeding c cylinder on his arm has now been straightened out and is now in line with the other two. Other than the fact that he is in much healthier condition than he used to be back then, there is yet another major difference between this encounter and the one from Core City. When he notices as soon as he reaches underneath his mask, makes a subtle twisting motion and begins talking to you with a synthesized voice. Greetings. If you value your life, you will leave the Institute of Tort at once while there is still time. Why would I leave? Wait, wait. What is going on here? What are you doing here? There's a brief pause as the three faces stand in silence, motionless, staring at you. The pause feels stronger than it actually is, but ends once you are spoken to again. The invasion is imminent. The Institute of Tort will soon be overrun and everyone inside eliminated. You helped me in Core City. I still live because of you, and for this sole reason, you will receive the war this warning. Leave. Now leave. Should you linger on when the inve investigation begins, you will be threatened no differently than the Tortoise. That is my message. Wait, I have questions. Why are you doing all this? Can't allow this. Should have killed you. Okay. Why are you doing this? Conversation is over. He then... He nods, then reaches underneath his mask to end the conversation. Afterward, he finally walks away. Oh. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Alright. Full inv invasion. Gotcha. Full invasion. All right, let me just uh, walk back over here and report that to my supervisor. <laughs> I just want to see the look on my supervisor's face. I just want to see the day in real life where I'm like, oh, sure, let me just uh, let me just let let my boss know that a full scale invasion of the facility is going to begin and everyone will be eliminated. Let me just uh, let me just get them on the phone. Hi, hi. Rick, you're, yeah, Rick, it's me. It's Seltier. I'm down at the front desk. Um, a bunch of armed men are saying they're here to eliminate everyone in the building. Could you, uh, did you want to come and talk to them, perhaps? Maybe you'd like to come down here and, and have a talk with them? <laughs> For, they're telling me I should leave. Should I leave? I, Rick, I think I'm going to leave. I'm just going to leave. Rick, I'm just going to leave. Yeah, I'm not going to leave. Bye, bye, Rick, bye, bye. Just walk out by, by just walk right past them. All right, Enian. I actually managed to talk to the faces. I found that they are planning an invasion of Institute of Chort soon. He makes no motion or sound in acknowledgement of what you just told him, at least not not right away. His response comes after this uncanny pause. You were warned about the invasion. I find that highly implausible. Why would the faces willingly reveal their plans? Even con conversing with someone not of their kin is difficult to comprehend, as proven by their corrupted nature. However, I have no reason to doubt you, however strange the situation might seem. Was there anything else? That is all I know. What happens now? Now we must take an appropriate counterattack. Short needs to be preserved at all costs. First, we must mobilize all preservation forces we have available. Then, we must alert Harmos Starvos, Harmost Starvos and his Raspowars in Deep Cavern. Since communication with both Sistine Outpost as well as the Nucleus has been made difficult after the earthquake, someone will have to make a descent. It would be wisest if I was the one to make the descent to Deep Cavern and personally make sure that Short remains safe. Mad Ant Samuel will be left in charge of the Institute's defenses. How do you go to Deep Caverns? This building possesses an elevator beneath this office. It is the only accessible point in Deep Caverns available. 
The elevator at the back of my office will take us to the chamber below. The elevator deep cavern blinds there. Few are allowed to access it. Get into the situation you find yourself in, you will be among those selected. It's few. Follow me, Dogbiter Megaguddy, for for there are few more words I will, must exchange with you before I leave. Ready to go? I need to do something first. Okay, I guess we're ready, right? We're ready as we're gonna be. This is what it's all been building up to, is this moment. The final readiness. I'm ready to go, illustrious alien. I'm ready to stand by your side. I'm ready to go. That's excellent. I will meet you in the chamber below. Do not take long. Do do do. Just casually walking over here while everyone else dies. Um. Well, you heard the man. You guys want to leave so I can ransack the place? No. All right. Well, fair enough. There's a shortest recumberentist. A shortest recumberentist. Kind of hoping for something better than that. Unfortunate. What do we got? Um, this can go up here. This, this, that, and tungsten steel glove can all wait here. I won't need those in the cave. You could also just shoot him. <laughs> well, that makes sense. But don't I need to go down there to like get the the cube or whatever? Wow. Okay. This area is intense. Bi a couple bio suits. Okay. Few members have complained that you entered this room without permission. If Judicator Ezra finds out. What do you mean without permission? Our grand poobah boss guy told me to come down here. Seriously? What do we got? Anything good? No. Nope. Uh, maybe. Yes, take that. Yeah, why not? We'll take those too. There's a shockingly low amount of actual guns in these gun cabinets. It's mostly ammo. Oh, there's Edian. Uh, walker's fine. Uh, we'll just take some extra of that. One generic shattered vase. Oh, I guess I'm not allowed to be here. Okay, well. My bad, I guess, then. <laughs> my bad. I did not realize. It's really interesting that he's inviting me to come along on this. I feel like this is kind of random for him. If that makes sense. Like, why would he invite this random person? I mean, I've, I'm shown hyper-competence. I guess. But outside of that, I don't know. It feels weird for me to be here. Okay. Alright, so I can't go that way. That's just instant, instant gunfight. Oh, this is the stuff we got out of there. Okay. I was like, what is this stuff? But yeah, that makes sense. All damage taken by 15% for 8 turns. That might be clutch at some point, actually. That might be clutch at some point. Oh, I forgot my stuff's not full anymore because of those stupid spiders. Gosh darn it. Alright, hopefully that's enough for now. Alright. Okay. Last, last one. Last one before DC. What time is it? Oh, it's already five. I didn't realize it gotten that late. All right, so here we go, team. Thursday, we we start their descent into the deep caverns. The deepest caverns become become uh, open to us. All the lurkers, of course. Thank you. You have the Twitch world go round. We always appreciate you. 
Anybody who checks the VODs here on Twitch, checks the VODs on the YouTube repository, thank you. It's always greatly appreciated. Seeing those numbers help keep me motivated. If you need a well thought out solution, you need a thinking solution. Raven Hillbrook Inc., Thinking Solutions. And that will be it for me, team. Yeah. Yeah. Bye.